right, you've decided it's time to hire some help. So let's answer that classic question, who should I hire first? Now this is drawn directly from the collaboration element of the Freedom Evolution Method, but let's give you some quick insights to help you not get caught up and confused now that you've decided you're ready to hire some help. Now, what most exhausted entrepreneurs do, they start hunting for unicorns. You think to yourself, well, I've been doing 400 things. I just need a magical VA who can do 200 of those things. What's the result? <laughs> a lot of frustrating relationships, failed expectations, that sense of hiring is too hard. I'm just not a good manager. It's just so much easier to keep doing it all myself. Now, a lot of these outcomes happen because exhausted entrepreneurs skip over one of the most important steps before they start hiring. So I'm gonna walk you through that step right now so you can stop the fruitless unicorn hunting and find exactly the right person to help you. Step number one, make a list of all of the activities you do in a given week, business and personal. Now, you might be able to get some clues from your to-do list, but probably there are some activities that never hit that list. Grocery shopping, laundry, house cleaning, all of those kinds of things. Step number two, grab our What to Delegate First Worksheet, which is a fillable PDF you can find at chosencourse.com forward slash delegate, which is gonna help you with what comes next. This worksheet includes a four quadrant diagram. And the goal is to sort all of your activities into one of those four groups based on how much you love to do it and how strong your skills are in getting it done. So the first quadrant is your passion zone. These are the things that if you filled your day doing them, you would be a very, very happy person. Quadrant number two is the learning or play zone. These are the things you love to do, you really do enjoy, but maybe you're not quite so skilled in them. They're things you're learning to do better or things that you do just because they're fun. The third quadrant is the competent zone. In this area, you really don't love to do it, but you do have the skills for it. You can get it done. It's just not very much fun. And the final fourth quadrant is your aversion zone. You don't love it you aren't good at it, these are not the cool things for you. So step number three, look at that list of activities from your given week and put each of those activities into one of those four quadrants. Once you've added all of the tasks to the worksheet, it should become fairly clear which tasks need to go first. Anything in the aversion zone, followed by anything in the competent zone, then only as it becomes appropriate and necessary, you might consider delegating the things that are in the learning and play zone. Usually because there's a strong reason to let go of them because somebody else really could be handling them better. Finally, step number four, own the vision of the future. That your goal is to spend as much time as possible in your passion zone. So once you've created this clarity and you've filled out the whole worksheet, now let's answer that question. Who do you hire first? So look at those tasks in the aversion zone and ask yourself these questions. Which of these activities takes the most time for me every week or every month? Which activity would be the greatest emotional or energetic relief to hand off to somebody else? And finally, are there any natural groups of skills here? In other words, could one person with a strong set of skills in the right area take several of these activities off of your plate? Now, I wanna caution you, be careful about lumping things together that are very, very different. For instance, your bookkeeping and your video editing probably don't have that much in common and shouldn't be done by the same person. This is what leads a lot of exhausted entrepreneurs into the unicorn hunting. Now, when you clarify these questions, you should be able to get to a clear answer about who you should be hiring first. You may have, for instance, two possibilities. Perhaps social media scheduling tasks take the most time, but bookkeeping would be the biggest relief. 
that's the case, listen to your gut. If you delegated responsibility for just one of these tasks starting this season, which one would give you the greatest feeling of relief? Remember, you can always decide to hire for the other one next. The goal is to build your team over time and start truly stepping into being a visionary CEO who has an amazing team that supports you in doing powerful, impactful, and meaningful work. When you're crystal clear about what you need that first hire to do for you, you'll have a much stronger chance of actually getting the help you need. This allows you to stop falling into the trap that so many exhausted entrepreneurs end up in, just posting on Facebook saying, I need a VA, and then finding someone who really isn't a solid fit. Now, knowing who to hire first is the first step but soon you're gonna discover that you also need to figure out what's your hiring process. You need to learn how to make sure that you don't just hire someone who's a smooth talker that doesn't really have the skills you need, and you'll need a system to onboard and manage them so that they can really become an awesome member of your team. Now, these are all aspects of hiring and becoming a kick-ass boss, and we cover all of this in the collaboration element of the Freedom Evolution Method. But this gives you a place to start at the beginning. So download the What to Delegate First worksheet, and then make sure you check that little box so that we can let you know the next time we open the doors for the Freedom Evolution program. Because every journey begins with a first step, but it can't end there, can it, Freedom Lover? So let's get started. <laughs>